back here at home, Toronto is mourning the loss of a trailblazer and pioneer. Beverly Salmon has died. Salmon was Toronto's first black female city councillor, and tonight she's being remembered as a mentor, activist, and community builder. CTV's Zoraida Allman joins us with more on Salmon's life and legacy. Nathan, Bev Salmon's impact on the community and the city of Toronto will resonate for generations to come. Her son says she had just returned from visiting her daughter in Hawaii last week, living a full life till the very end. I'm strong, uh, humble, and um, courageous. Warren Salmon says his mother was all those things and so much more. Making a statement from day one, Beverly Salmon was the first baby born in Toronto on Christmas Day in 1930 to a Jamaican father and Irish-Scottish-Canadian mother. She began her career in nursing before jumping into politics in 1985 when she became Toronto's first black female councillor. She really lived a life of service and advocacy and, you know, courage and standing up for things that she believed in and standing up for, you know, the rights of people who, uh, you know, weren't being equally, uh, you know, served or equally represented. In public life, she was a champion for inclusive policies at City Hall, worked with the Toronto Board of Education, the Urban Alliance on Race Relations and the Ontario Status of Women Council. Salmon was the first black woman to serve on the Ontario Human Rights Commission. Your Honour, Beverly Salmon. She was named to the Order of Ontario in 2016 and the Order of Canada in 2017. A true role model, her son says, who led by example. You know, she wasn't boisterous or anything. She spoke firmly and, and from a position of strength and she remained humble at the same time. Salmon remained active in her community even in retirement. Warren says Bev Salmon died peacefully on Thursday morning after a brief illness, surrounded by family at North York General Hospital. She leaves behind her three children and five grandchildren. Bev Salmon was 92. And she is also predeceased by her husband, Dr. Douglas Salmon Sr., and her son, Dr. Douglas Salmon Jr. The city has now announced flags will fly at half-mast at City Hall, Metro Hall, and all the civic centres until after her funeral. I'm Zoraida Allman. Michelle, back to you.